Hi everybody, this is Reverend K.L. Blessing and you are once again welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. Today is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it. I just want to come in and encourage everybody and also Christians especially that our redemption draws nigh. The Bible makes us to understand that there will be a time whereby we will hear about wars and rumors of wars. There will be pestilence. And when we see these pestilence and wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and all these chaos going out around us, we should know that we are getting close to the second return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, as I speak now, there is a conflict going on in the Middle East between the Palestinians and the Israelis, and it's also what rumors of wars and conflict. Also, from last year to this year, we've been hit with this pandemic of COVID, which has been killing millions of people worldwide and has brought in, in certain areas, mandatory uh, vaccine and being asked to put on face masks and uh, practice social um, distancing protocols to avoid or to limit the number of people dying. These are all signs of the end of ages. And we have to know that the Bible, the scriptures has already foretold us that these things will come. When we see the signs of these things, it means that we are heading towards the end of time. I'm not here to tell you that Jesus is coming today or tomorrow, or next week or next year, but the Bible says that this is the beginning of the soon return, of Christ's return. There's coming a time whereby Jesus Christ will come in for those who have accepted him as their Lord and personal Savior. There's also coming a time whereby there will be the mark of the beast and also the Antichrist will come in and take dominion over the earth. And this is all being set in motion. The coming in of this COVID and the new technology that has come in to even telling people that before you could work or travel, you have to be vaccinated or for you to get promotion, you have to be vaccinated and it's becoming mandatory. In the same way, time is coming, it will become mandatory for you to have the 666 mark either on the palm of your head or on your forehead or to worship the image of the mark of the beast. And if you don't do so, there will be no way you could go to the hospital, you could rent a house, you could buy food. You can't even enter into a store until you show them the sign of the mark of the beast at the, at the back of your hands, the palm of your hands or on your forehead. You can't read, you can't do anything if you don't have the mark of the beast, meaning you don't belong to the new world order or new world system. And anybody who is not for them is against them. So for you to declare yourself an outsider, meaning you are trying to stand for God, you'll be persecuted. That's why we are now being prepared for that time. And I believe that the current state of affairs with this COVID and having that mandatory vaccine in certain countries, or certain businesses or job firms become make our certain state in the nations of the world and also the fact that you have to put on marks before you enter into a store or um, practice social distancing which is good because of the covid to protect it but i'm saying that the same thing is going to happen when the antichrist comes and they are enforcing the mark of the beast Anyone who tries to take a stand for Jesus, a stand for holiness, a stand for righteousness, you'll be shut down.
if you say you don't believe in gays lesbianism you don't believe in abortion you don't believe in the mark of the beast and the world philosophies you will be persecuted and prosecuted we are heading towards the soon return of Christ's return. There's going to be a judgment day where you and I will stand before God and give account of the life that we live on this earth. That's why as a believer, if you know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, then the Bible tells you and I to make sure that let he who is standing make sure let him or she who thinks he's standing pay heed lest they fall. Let him or she who thinks he's standing pay heed lest they fall. Make sure you are holding on to God and holding on tightly. Make sure that you are bounce, you are you are holding on to Christ Jesus and your relationship. Don't let nothing distract you from straying away from your feet. Don't be lazy with your Bible studies. Don't be lazy with your prayer life. Don't be lazy with your service to God. Don't be lazy telling people about Christ. Don't be lazy about serving the Lord. Don't allow the world to enter and infiltrate into your life until you be, your, your love for God is was skin cold. The Bible says that in the end time, the love of many will was cold. Many people will start developing passion and desire and love and affection for the things of the world people would rather love to watch movies and soup operas and watch basketball super bowl football go for parties and do many social events than to serve the lord and even serving the lord will become much more of entertainment than to worshiping god in truth and in spirit it is the spirit of the Antichrist taking people's heart and desire away from Christ. It is time for you to make a spiritual analysis, a spiritual diagnosis, and find out whether you are in faith. Find out whether you are living a compromised Christianity. Are you living a holy life, a righteous life? Are you striving to please God in everything you do? Are you living, God, living for God in truth and in spirit behind closed door? In your secret chambers, are you living a sanctified, consecrated life or your Christianity is more hypocritical? You try to show people that you are a Christian outwardly, but in privately, you are into gossip, you are into lying, you are into pornography, you are into masturbation, you are into lust and you are into worldliness and you are into carnality and you have no time for God, no time for prayer. And we give excuses why we can't read the Bible. We give excuses why we can't pray. We give excuses... Why we can't tell people about Jesus Christ? It means that your love for God is worse than cold. The spirit of the Antichrist is already taking its root. You've come to the place of compromise whereby you can't even stand against what is morally wrong. When you are asked, is gay, lesbianism, same-sex marriage, is it right or wrong? And you find yourself not even knowing the answer because you don't know the scriptures. You feel okay with things you know it it's in the bible black and white that it's wrong god hates emptiness god hates jealousy god hates pride god hates selfishness these are all sins we all have to deal with it i'm not here to point fingers about this person or that but we all need to deal with our personal sins whether it's pride whether it's selfishness whether it's unbelief faithlessness disbelief you don't even have faith in god anymore you don't walk by faith anymore you rather trust in the systems and people than to trust in God. You are not walking by faith, but by sight. You have lost passion for prayer. When was the last time you fasted? When was the last time you shut yourself in to consecrate yourself to seek the Lord's face? God is calling us. We are in the end times. We are in the end times. Jesus is coming soon. Put your faith and confidence in God. When you see the rumors of wars and wars and, 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 and the pestilence and the pandemic and all these things, there are signs. There are signs. Mandatory vaccine and social distancing. Put on masks before you can survive and people are quarantined and all these things. The world is changing. 
new world order, you have to know that very soon Jesus is coming soon. And if you, you are listening to me and you don't know Jesus as, not, as your Lord and personal Savior, please, please, I commend to you right now, receive him into your life. There is no life outside of Christ. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. There was some guy who came around to do some painting for me. Um, within the weekend, his roommate locked himself in his room and overdosed on drugs and, and died. People are dying every day. The question is that did they know Jesus? Were they prepared to meet their maker? And when he came around, he personally had also discovered that he'd been too busy for God. He's been too busy that he had no time for God. And God was having a way of getting him back on track to spend time. Some of us have been so busy, busy with work, busy trying to survive the current pandemic that is going on, people losing their job, um, confusion in families and marriages and um, lack of money and uh, all those things. You are stressing to the point that you've been too busy that you have lost your connection with God. But how can we survive? How can we survive without Christ, without Jesus? Life without Christ is full of crisis. Life without Christ is full of crisis. Whenever you are going through a problem and you look around, you'll be oppressed. When you look down, you'll be depressed. But if you look up to Jesus, you'll be at rest. The question is that, are you looking around to be oppressed? Are you looking down to be depressed? Or are you looking up to Jesus Christ as the all time finish of your salvation to be at rest? The Bible says, come to me, all you who are heavy burdened, and I'll give you rest. Jesus gives you rest. He says, call on to me, and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. If you trust God and pray to him, he has the answers to every one of our needs. Because the Bible says that, behold, I'm the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all that we can ever think or ask. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and it shall find. Knock. You need to learn to trust God and pray to him and ask him to come into your life, to come into your marriage, to come into your finances, to help resolve issues in your life, to help you pay your bills. Lord, come in and give me peace. Help me come and heal my marriage. Come and touch my son. Don't you see that because of love of Christ, being the center of our lives, everything is falling apart. Marriages are falling apart. Our children are going wayward. Our finances are under attack. Our health is under attack. We are being depressed. We are being suppressed. We are being afflicted. We are being frustrated. We are unhappy. We are stressed up. We are discouraged and we are working as though we are zombies and we are we, we are being beaten and battered by the issues of life. Why? Because we've lost connection. We are like the same way a tree can never survive without water or the earth in the same way you can never survive outside of Christ. The same way a fish will never survive outside of water. You cannot survive and live a fulfilled, peaceful, purposeful life outside of Jesus. Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. The way, the truth, and the life. The way, the truth, and the life. No one has access to the Father except through Christ. I ask you today to ask the Lord Jesus to come back into your life and to become your Lord and personal Savior. Lord Jesus, say this after me, Lord Jesus, right now, I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. And Lord Jesus, from now, moving forward, I recognize you as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe that you came down to die for me. You died and you resurrected. And you are seated at the right hand side of God the Father, making intercession for me. With, I confess with my mouth and I believe with my heart that you are my Lord and my Savior. Cleanse me, wash me from all my sins. If you are backslidden also, ask the Lord, that, Father, I'm sorry for making you too small in my life, for going ahead of you, for from disconnecting from you through my sins and my waywardness. As the prodigal son, I am coming back to you. Receive me and restore me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation and give me a new and a right spirit within me. Help me, O Lord, to serve you. 
Help me, Lord, to live for you. Help me, Lord Almighty, to be able to trust you. And I encourage you to start. Go find your Bible. Start reading the Bible. Find today because of the quarantine. If you don't have a church, you can be following some good ministries online. And pray every day. Read your Bible. Get yourself around Christians and believers. And let God bring transformation into your life. I came to encourage you. We are in the end times. Jesus is coming soon. The spirit of Antichrist is already around. We are preparing, they are preparing us for the new world order. And very soon, the mark of the beast will be made visible. The question is that, are you prepared? Do you know Jesus? If you are to die today, if Jesus is to come to right now, where would you spend your eternity? Is it in, in, in heaven or in paradise with God? Or in hell or the lake of fire with the devil? What did you do with the message of salvation? What did you do with Jesus Christ? You would one day, you can ignore this message today, but you will deal with it tomorrow. Life is too short. Make the best out of it today and make sure you know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior and you are living your life to please him and for his glory. May God bless you. May the Lord prosper you. May the Lord be with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Pastor George led me to the Lord. And when I got saved, I became a part of God's family. And that's how we are our brother in Christ. And I'm here, I'm here to tell you, Miss McMahon, that when Jesus Christ saved me, the Lord did more than just save my soul. Mm -hmm. Save my life as well. Yes. I'm ashamed to admit it. I had a problem with drugs. But by the love of my dear wife and the power of the Holy Spirit, I was able to feed God defeated my addiction. I just want to praise the Lord for his love. And just say that if there's anyone who's wondering if God can really change or make a difference in your life.
Cause anytime is prayer time. The office is in heaven, they're opened up for you Every second, every minute, in every hour In case of an emergency, just dial the toll-free number And connect with the Father above Pray, pray, my mother Pray anytime, just pray. Pray when you sad and pray. Pray when you pray when you're weak. Pray when you pray when you're strong. Pray when you're strong, just pray and pray. Cause anytime is prayer time. When you see that all your things are going well, you've got your wife and your kids a nice family. Talk to God and thank Him in prayer. When you feel that your bones are still in place, you still can walk to and fro. Talk to God and thank Him in prayer. Pray, pray without ceasing. Pray anytime. Just pray. Pray when you said. Pray. Pray when you pray. Pray when you're weak. Pray when. Strong. Pray when you're strong, just pray and pray, cause anytime is prayer time. Anytime is prayer time. Pray, pray, my father, pray anytime, just pray. Pray when you said, pray, pray when you pray, pray when you're weak, pray when you're weak, pray when you're strong, pray when you're strong, just pray and, and pray. Cause anytime is prayer time. Just pray and pray. Cause anytime is prayer time. Just pray and pray. Cause anytime is prayer time. Just pray and pray. Cause anytime is prayer time. Just pray and pray, cause any time is prayer time. Hi, join us every day for prayers and for deliverance. Every day, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. And also for those of you who are in London, it's going to be 4 a.m. London. And if you are in Europe, any part of Europe, it will be 5 a.m. Join us for our daily prayer, deliverance, and breakthrough prayers. You can join us by connecting to our YouTube Live and Facebook Live. We have two YouTube accounts. The first one is called Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Fresh Fire Prayer prayer line so subscribe to fresh fire prayer line and click the bell and you'll be notified whenever we meet for prayers and also we have another account called k l blessing k e y and l blessing is e l b l e s s i n g k l blessing subscribe to the k l blessing youtube account and click on, on the bell and you'll be notified and also you can follow us on Facebook, KL Blessing. K L Blessing. K A Y E L B L E S S I N G. K L Blessing. Follow us also on Facebook. So do change um, um join us every day for prayers. Every day. For those of you in US, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. London, 4 a.m. And those of you in Europe, 5 a.m. For any further information about deliverance materials and books, go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com and you can purchase our materials from there. God richly bless you and I look forward to seeing you today for prayers. I pray for you that whatever you are believing God for, may the Lord God Almighty wipe away the tears from your eyes. May the Lord remove shame from your life. May the Lord mend your broken heart 
and heal you. May the Lord restore whatever the devil has stolen from your life. And may the Lord open doors for you in the name of Jesus. Every burden, every challenges you are going through, I want you to know that with prayer, God is able to do the impossible. I pray that the Lord God Almighty bring you deliverance. And may the Lord Almighty deliver you from every spells, every charms, every hexes, every attack of the enemy that is going on right, right now in your life. As I pray for you right now, let the attack stop and cease in the name of Jesus. And for those of you believing God for a breakthrough, I come into agreement with you. Let there be miracles. Let there be a breakthrough. Let there be testimony. Let there be praise report. Before you even join us, you are going to come with a testimony because our God is awesome and is able to do all things. He's a way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. He's a God who is able to divide the Red Sea and cause his people to walk on, on dry land. I, so I prophesy in the name of Jesus, whatever blessing breakthrough you are believing god for may the lord answer you speedily in the mighty name of jesus christ be restored be healed be delivered i pray for god to restore your marriage in the name of jesus i ask the lord to restore your health i ask the lord to open the door for you to get your job i ask the lord god almighty to release a blessing in your family in the name of jesus those who are sick be healed right now be delivered right now be restored right now in the name of jesus door that was shut before you i command your closed doors to begin to be open and may you experience the favor of god whatever spell whatever charm whatever hexes that has been done against you to destroy you in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost by the reason of the anointing i break every yoke i break every charm i break every witchcraft off your life and i lose you by the power of the holy ghost for the bible says, whatever we lose on earth shall be loose in heaven i command your release from every powers of darkness from every curse from every bewitchment and from every shackles i break the yoke of the the enemy of your life and i command your soul to escape as a bird out of the snares of the father may the snare be broken and i command your unconditional release right now receive your testimony receive your breakthrough this week receive your healing this week i ask the lord to restore your marriage your family your sons and daughters let them be covered let them be protected by the precious blood may the blood preserve and protect you from all evil from cancer from diabetes high blood pressure from covid from premature death from accident from uh, uh, misfortune and adversity and calamity, any evil, any weapon that has been formed or fashioned or designed against you, may the Lord cause you to escape the traps and the snares of your enemies. May your Lord life be preserved by the Lord Jesus Christ. Join us today and your life will never be the same. This is Reverend K, a blessing. For more information, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com and click and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Facebook channel, Fresh Fire Prayer Line, also K, a blessing and follow us on Facebook, K, a blessing. God richly bless you. Bye. Hi, this is Reverend K and once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry. I'm here to recommend to you some deliverance materials which will help you the bible says buy knowledge and sell it not buy knowledge and sell it not you have to re you have to discover in order to recover if you don't discover the mystery behind your misery you'll not be able to recover and possess or repossess your possession so knowledge is very vital in this day and age because what you don't know is what the enemy or your enemies will use against you and that's why the u.s spend huge sums of money using it for intelligence because they have to know what their enemies are planning against the u.s before they in order to overturn it cancel it frustrate it before their enemies can come against them so the bible says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy so many people are looking for deliverance seeking for deliverance but they are very ignorant about the ways the devil operates and they keep on falling into the devil's trap and the devil keeps on getting them the first book i recommend to you is called spiritual diagnosis mind you you can get all these books on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com you can get it on a paper book or you can get it on ebook in the ebook when you buy it it will be emailed to you as an attachment and you can open it and get it you go to the website www.freshfireprayer.com the first book is spiritual diagnosis spiritual diagnosis is the first book i wrote after the lord revealed to me the way the enemy operates against humanity the way witchcraft operate, curses operate, demons operate. In this book, you will understand 
how the enemy operates. You are going to learn about the portals which the enemies or demons can enter into your body. You, you know how demons also operate. You also know how to keep your deliverance, how to keep, um, stay delivered. What can keep you from receiving deliverance? You know the different ways the enemy can attack you either through witchcraft either through curses either through spirit husband either through your name either through against your marriage this are this book was exposed to you anybody who want to know about deliverance and about the ways the demons and the witches operate how witches can hunt down your star how witches can um you turn you into scape scapegoat in order to destroy you this book will give you all the vital informations you need for your deliverance and it will help you body afflictions how many people are going through attacks on their body demonic visitation demons in, in, uh, visiting you which cascade get good evil soul ties i explained to you how all these things oppress asmodeus and osmodeus these are demons that breaks marriages and keep people single satanic spiders and spider web every time you experience a spider web in your life satanic monitors demons and witches monitoring you evil authors and covenants that are affecting your body, are affecting your life. You learn all star hunters, demons and witches that are after your star and your glory and how they can pursue after your star to destroy you. How to use the anointing oil, how to anoint your house. These are all, uh, and how to do self-deliverance. This book, Spiritual Diagnosis, Spiritual Diagnosis. The other one is called Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers. This book gives you 30 dreams that shows you that your blessings and your prosperity is under demonic and witchcraft attacks. 35 prayer to cancel demonic dreams and, uh, and against your life. Are you, have you been having evil dreams? Have you been having bad dreams? Do you understand the dreams? Do you know how to pray to reverse it, to destroy it? How to overcome the four major causes of the poverty? You will discover what causes poverty and the 11 witchcraft activities. 11 witchcraft activities to destroy your blessings and your destiny. You also learn about the 16 demons that attack our finances. Prayers to overcome demonic operation against your blessings. Uh, prayers to uh, against witchcraft activities. And nice spiritual element for your, your blessings. Deliverance from blessing destroyers. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration, anybody going through marital problem, anybody wanting to get married, anybody wanting to know how to pray against witchcraft, against marine demons, against strange women, against household wickedness, against spouse uh, charms, against your marriage, and how to pray to preserve your marriage, get this book, Deliverance from Blessing Destroy, uh, Emergency Prayers for uh, Marriage Restoration, any marriage under attack, this is your book. Consuming Fire for Fire, this is the book that you need in order to teach you how to pray against the spirit husband, spirit wife, python spirit, leviathan spirit, witchcraft spirit, demonic spirit, strange woman, come against singleness, spirit of delay, spirit of uh, satanic embargoes, anything, anybody who is going through witchcraft, this is the book. And if you want to know how to pray against a witch, get this book and it will teach you how to pray against witchcraft and get your deliverance. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration. Emergency prayers. Urgent prayers. This urgent prayers against the strong man. This book will teach you how to pray against back to sender. Anybody who releases evil arrow against you, how to send it back to the sender. This um, book will also teach you how to pray to open every satanic padlock that has padlocked your destiny and your star. This book will teach you how to pray against the spirit of death, sicknesses, and diseases, especially cancer. And this book will also teach you how to pray for favor in uh, for your life. And if you are dealing with any strong man, the spirit of Pharaoh that is holding you in bondage and captivity, this is the book you need. Emergency prayer for uh, urgent prayer against the strong man. Get this book and it will bless you. Touch not my anointed. If you don't want witches and wizards to mess you up, there's the book to get. And once you, you begin to use it, you will get, begin to get your deliverance from all the powers of darkness. Get, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. Get these materials. Start reading them. Start praying these prayers in the midnight hour or every time you have and start praying them. Use these prayers and pray it and it will change your life and it will help you to fight against the powers of darkness and your life and your destiny will never be the same. Go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com If you order the uh, e-book, you will get it within 24 hours uh, and we will email it to you as an attachment. If you order the paperback, you give us uh, four to five days 
and it will be emailed to you. Uh, it will be sent to you, and it will help you out to get your deliverance. God richly bless you. Bye.